Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrass, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around, it is Yamato for the Sega SG-1000 from 1983. What you see here is what you get. You blow up ships, you shoot down planes, you try not to get shot down yourself. It's a very simple arcade style game and this was the only system that this was ported to. I believe this was an arcade game at first and then it was on the SG-100 later. I thought maybe I would have that on my notes, but sadly I don't. But it wouldn't be surprising to me if it was an arcade game at first and then it became an SG-1000 game. But nevertheless, it is a very arcadey game. And you can play it with one or two players. And, well, I'm going to be playing on my own because, well, it's two-player alternating if you do play it with two players. So let's go. So, button one lets you shoot the machine guns. This allows you to take out the planes that are up in the air. The button two allows you to shoot bombs. This lets you take out the submarines and the ships. Now the black missiles come from the ships and the submarines. Those things usually, all, or well they always travel diagonally. You obviously want to avoid those. You don't want those touching the ship at all. And the planes shoot the white missiles. These things will track you until they are lined up with you, and then they will go straight down, assuming that they're ever above you in the first place. To shoot down the planes, you'll need to move one of the two cursors to get to the planes. You need to use the plus sign target, the target that looks like a plus sign to shoot down the planes with button one, and you'll need the target that looks like an X, which is the diagonal line target, to shoot down the submarines and ships with button two. So the diagonal lines for the ships and submarines, the plus sign for the planes. Now interestingly, the ships give more points than the planes do. But the planes have the worst firepower. And if you don't know what you're doing, the planes can shoot you down pretty darn well. If you don't know what you're doing and you're not exactly paying attention. It's pretty easy to avoid the black missiles that always shoot, di shoot, shoot out diagonally. They never change direction. They never double back on you. But... The white missiles do have a homing capability, like right there. Sometimes the black missiles will go straight. Thankfully, they never change direction either. But you just want to watch the sea here, so that way you don't get blown up so much. So, there are rounds. I'm currently on round four. And... You advance it around after you shoot down, I believe, 15 targets. And as you go through the game, as you go from round to round, things do get a little more difficult. The missiles from the planes do get faster. Like, they're a little faster now than during s round one. I will have to admit that. And yeah, it was better that I moved out of the way right there. And pretty much got the missile to go kind of where I wanted. Kinda. Just to make sure it stayed out of my way. Just got out and stayed out. Submarines are pretty hard to shoot down unless you know the like the magic point at which to shoot them at. And of course you kinda have to time a little bit with the planes. Like, you have to shoot just before 
the bullet, or rather the plane, gets to where you aimed. And we're at round six. And this is the point where the missiles from the planes get really fast. I'm not even lying here. Once you reach night for the second time in round six, you are going to have a bad time. And you really need to pay attention. You also don't want to be stuck on the very sides either. Because that'll get you killed. Yeah, you don't want to be all the way to the left or to the right. Ooh, and sometimes if you can move out of the way just enough, you can survive a hit and keep going. I think if you take a second hit from here on out, though, you will lose a life. So you really need to be careful how you do things in this game. You really, really need to be careful. You have your score at the top as well as the high score in the, in the top center. You have your current amount of lives and your current amount of targets taken down and your current round at the bottom. Right below where your ship is. And seeing my ship, there it goes. Game over. You can't continue. Once you lose all your lives, it's back to round one for you. Might as well go ahead and play another game here just to explain even more things and see if I can do a little better. 37,000 points, though. That's not bad considering what I was doing, which was talking and playing this game and talking about how to play it at the same time to the best of my ability. And, oh, yeah, these things are definitely getting definitely a little slower now than they were at the end of the last game. And yeah, you have to be pretty specific with the position of the crosshair for the planes, just so you can hit them in the first place. And I thought I would be able to get away from that. Not that way I wasn't. So, really? So, as you go from round to round, You'll go from daytime to evening to night and then back to day. Once you go through a whole cycle of day to evening to night, you go back to the daytime and you pretty much start the whole time of day cycle over again. So Round one is day, round two is the evening, and round three is the night. And then you repeat that cycle for the next three rounds, and the three rounds after that, and the three rounds after that. You don't get a lot of points off the planes. You actually don't get a lot of points out of the planes. Like, you get 50 off of those, but you can get... 500 off the ships and a couple hundred off the submarines but if you're good at shooting down the planes it can make it a little easier to kind of keep the white missiles that come in fast on you at bay. Sometimes the ships will catch on fire and you're forced to hit them again. But you get points both on both hits. And I nearly avoided death there. I don't know how. Don't ask me why. It's kind of random on whether or not you pretty much die right there. And here I am at level... At level, or round six again, rather. I don't know why I was calling it Revel. There's a, it's always rounds with arcades. Yikes. And 
I tried to shoot down that plane. Game was just not having it. And yeah, I wasn't getting the job done with that aim. Yeah, once you reach round six, those missiles get really fast. And I might as well go ahead and do one more just for the heck of it. I want to see how many points you need for an extra life. Because I know you can get point-based extra lives, and that was bad. I should not have done that. You never want to be at these sides, ever. Not in the way that I was. Let's see if I can skip this. Okay, yeah, I should be able to. It is round one after all. And there was no way I was getting that one, so... Yeah, being able to move to the side may be a good idea for avoiding some of the missiles, but sometimes it isn't. And that can, it can come back to bite you when you least expect it. And yeah, it you definitely want to be on the opposite side of the planes when it counts. And you are coming at me. Okay, then. At least when the missile is past the bottom of the screen, you'll be okay for the most part. And I thought I passed by that. That was awful. And that was a good way of... Huh. Apparently with the submarines, your bomb reticle has to be slightly above the submarine itself. And I believe... You get extra lives at least every 10,000 points. I'm led to believe that. And let's see here. Well, I'm shooting down things a little better. Getting a little luckier here with the shooting down of the submarines. Maybe it's progress based depending on how far you go without dying or something, though. That wouldn't make sense for a game of this vintage. And that was a narrow escape, but I managed to pull it off. And this is where everything becomes a nightmare to do because once again everybody wants me dead and I ran into a submarine missile that was foolish And I am really just... I'm really just tempting fate now. Maybe you just get one extra life. Who knows? And yeah, I'm gonna get hit there. But... That was great. That was a fun little game for the Atari not the Atari but the SG-1000 trying to remember the name of the system here for a minute I don't have 
the amount of points needed for an extra life in my notes, sadly. Also, you apparently have to shoot down 16 targets to advance in the next round every round. That's interesting. I should definitely keep that in mind. What? Well, there's not much else to say. This was a fun game. I mean, what you see here really is what you get. There's not much in terms of sound other than what you heard. There's no music here or anything. The graphics are serviceable, yet you can tell what everything is. You can tell what a plane looks like. You can tell what a sub looks like. You can tell what a ship looks like. You can tell that the missiles are missiles. I do find it interesting that your ship is vertically oriented, and yet you can still move to the side like that. Not sure how battleships move to the side like that, but... Well, in this game, it, yours does. So, this is basically your... This basically feels like a run-of-the-mill arcade game, but you can have some fun with this one. I definitely can. And your mileage may vary with this one on the replay value. You may play this for a little while. You may play this for 15 minutes. You may play it for even more than that. Just just to see how well you can really get through it and just to see if you can push yourself further like I said it's a fun little arcade game for the SG-1000 if you're collecting for it and I say as I take a drink of tea this game definitely is checking out I didn't regret it and you may some you may find some fun out of this one too. So, this has been Let's Play Yamato for the SG-1000. Not sure what else to say, so I might as well go ahead and cut it off here after a little mini review and three sections of the game. And hopefully, you enjoy this as much as I did, maybe just a little bit more, who knows. Maybe I'll come back with another game. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be bad. Maybe it'll be somewhere in between. Who is to tell? Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later.